Welcome back. We are continuing our One Care expedition today. And the next thing I want to show you is the backup feature. We've gone through firewalls, we've gone through tuning up your computer, getting rid of all that clutter. Now we're into backing up your computer. Very important, backing up your photos, backing up your music, backing up your critical data, your applications and your operating system itself. So when you first run Configure Backup, actually they'll take you through a little bit of a tutorial that'll talk to you about different backup strategies that you can employ and educate you on what's the best way to back up all of your systems. So they'll tell you about using a removable media, things like using CDR or DVDs for backing up, or removable hard drives, or network hard drives, or even services on the internet to back up. And then having looked at all that information, you can determine which backup technology is going to work best for you. And then if you have to go out and purchase it, they even give you some purchasing tips, making sure you purchase enough storage to back up all of your different systems. And then they'll walk you through the process of setting that up. So we're not just worried about backing up one computer. No, we're dealing with a network of computers in our home. So we actually have a backup plan, if we take a look here, for all of our PCs. We might as well put the same rules in place for everybody's computer so that everything is backed up and safe and secure. And that's a really intelligent way to approach this because we really have a full network now at home. So why not use network tools to make sure everything is safe and secure? Once you've got your backup plan in place, you know that all of your critical information is going to be backed up regularly. Now, I want to show you some of the other options they have here because this one is interesting. This is online photo backup. Our photos are especially valuable to us. And if we have, say, a network drive in our home, but something bad happens to the home, a fire or something like that, we could still lose all of the photos, even though they're backed up. So backing them up on the internet gives us an extra level of security. And this is a paid for service that you can purchase. I think it's 10 gigabytes of storage space on the internet per year. And then you can back up all of your photos and make sure they're safe no matter what happens in your local environment. That's something that's well worth thinking about doing. The next tab is our old friend viruses and spyware. Viruses have been around about as long as I can remember on the computer. There's still lots of old viruses floating around on the internet waiting to potentially infect you if you aren't protected. And there's of course new viruses being created on a daily basis. We protect against that by updated virus definitions and by scanning our computer on a regular basis, both the existing files on our computer and monitoring all the data that comes into our computer. Now one interesting thing that'll happen with this software is if an an application or if a file comes into your computer that Windows Live One Care is not sure about, it looks like it has some characteristics of a virus, but it's not sure. It might be a legitimate file. It puts it in quarantine and then it allows you to decide whether it's something that you expected and if it's something that's safe and secure and that you can actually use on your computer or it's something that you didn't expect and indeed it could be a problem and then it allows you to dispose of it. So it's intelligent virus scanning and virus protection. You can also schedule here regular scans of your computer so in case anything did slow through or there's something kind of with a, uh, a time delay on it that you catch it before it causes any trouble. Viruses shouldn't cause you much of an issue anymore today just by being careful about not opening attachments that you don't expect and keeping your virus scanning software up to date. We also protect you here against spyware, against when you're visiting websites, against it capturing personal information, which is more offensive than damaging to your computer. That's protected in the same, with the same kind of technology. Now the last area that we're going to look at today is printer sharing. Now with our networks that we have in place today, one of the things that we like to be able to do because we have multiple computers, we don't need to have multiple printers. Over the network we should be able to share those sorts of peripherals. Anybody who's ever set up printer sharing in Windows XP knows that it can sometimes be a little bit more of a challenge than it should be to set up printer sharing amongst multiple computers. This makes it really easy. There's an automated wizard in here that allow you to share printers and other resources online over your local internet so you don't have to get multiple printers and multiple scanners for everybody in your home. They can all work off a single printer or a single scanner. And while we're talking about the your local internet connection as well, for your Wi-Fi network, for your wireless network, there's a bunch of tools built into Windows Live One Care that will help you make sure that your wireless network is safe so that nobody can log on to your network without your permission as well. OneCare is a complete end-to-end -end solution. As more issues arise, Microsoft can add to the feature set. They can actually extend the capability of this application. The ability to manage all of your computers from one single hub is one of the real keys to this product. I mean, it's all about efficiency, efficiency and security. OneCare is one easy maintenance and security solution for your computer that is all in one convenient place.